done. <laughs> that was a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. Just checking that it is engaged. Oh crap, you know it's not engaged. They're so annoying for one second. Okay. I took it quickly apart, literally took me 10 seconds. Uh, I just took the two legs out, that was giving me issue, and re-engaged the, the little white, two white L-shaped brackets on the side of the legs that have to go into like this slot that goes under the crib so that it's like fully secure and one wasn't in. <laughs> so it was already set up and it was all pretty easy and I guess if I wasn't filming and in this like specific spot of the room where it's kind of awkward and alone it would be so easy to put together it was just because where I had to make sure that L brackets were engaged and then really it would have been ideal to have all of the four pieces the four leg pieces on the see it's this thing that was the issue putting this on that took all my energy <laughs> But if they were all on at the same time and then just slid in, it'd be fine. And if it was engaged properly and the legs were apart like they should have been, it would have been like a two minute setup max. <laughs> but I did not do it that way. Um, and I learned the hard way very fast that I messed up. These are the straps to tie it to the bed, which is strap them around the bed, around your bed. And you strap it to this and strap it to the crib and it's secure so that the baby is not going nowhere but I don't know if we'll use them we'll see we have a king size bed I'm sure it'll fit around it but I don't know if we'll need it necessarily so I'll give it a try I'll see when I put this next to the bed which we have to move a little bit so it fits but shall we see how it pulls down that might be something <laughs> to see uh, I'm gonna set you back up so I can pull it down and see how that works read the instructions first okay seems pretty easy it just seems like you just pull the zips down so i'm just gonna do it okay okay that is clips how do the clips clip <laughs> so it literally just comes down like that and sits against the bed. Which is awesome. Cool. I'm like, why does it look like this could be a dis oh for cleaning? I was like, why does it look like it could be detached? But yeah, it's for cleaning, so it just looks, sits like that. And then you have the baby next to you. And that's how we're gonna probably have it up against our bed with the side down and it goes different heights which I haven't even tried yet after the struggle of <laughs> getting the the basket thing what is that called can't remember that thing on so let's try and see how much height we get okay so we're at one That's a three. Oh, good. Steady, steady. And that's a six. I don't know if you can see how high up that is. That's pretty high. I actually got to check and see what level our bed is. But yeah, that is the Tutti Bambini Cozy in Oak and Charcoal. And I'm very excited to get this in our room. I think it's gonna match our bed like identically, which is hilarious and great. I'm gonna see how that is next to the bed so I can get used to it and figure out the spacing we need for it as well, which would be a good thing to do. And is that even? Nope. <laughs> I was like, doesn't look even. There we go. Now that's an even six on both ends, which comes up to, I'm five foot four and three quarters, so there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure I'll do an in-depth review later on once we actually have used it. Um, but 
that's just kind of the unboxing for now and the setup but I'll show you it when we have it in the bedroom if I give you another quick look at it looks really good super cute I can't believe there's gonna be a baby in there like seven weeks oh boy that's a scary thought <laughs> and a cute thought oh I did not finish putting it together <laughs> forgot one important piece of the puzzle which is this ah <laughs> looks way better now oh look at that there we go okay this is how it's supposed to actually look fully complete um can't believe i forgot that <laughs> but now it's in oh it looks so much better <laughs> how cute it's gonna be awesome so this is the bedside crib next to our bed and we did end up using the straps because you need them because what we found was that the bed was tilting when she was in it and she was a newborn it was really scary because she would kind of roll <laughs> to her side and we were scared that she would roll over in the middle of the night so we would put the Moses basket she's having fun there we would put the Moses basket inside the bed so that she wouldn't roll over in the middle of the night and not be able to roll back over and then we realized that we needed the straps so the straps kind of stop it from doing that um, but without it because I think of the weight the weight of the what's this called this bar that comes down I think that kind of drags it onto an angle so you do need the straps if you're gonna have it um, with the side down next to your bed otherwise you're gonna have this tilt issue which a lot of people have talked about but I did find that the straps actually helped to kind of stop that but it was really scary in the beginning <laughs> so it made me kind of paranoid so yeah we did have the Moses basket inside of the bedside crib before we were like okay she's good enough to not roll in the night and get stuck there um, now she just rolls for comfort and she will just roll over in the middle of the night but she can easily roll back over and so it's fine. As I guessed it was a perfect match to the bed. It's like almost identical which is great and we never use that bottom basket <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, ever. It's literally got a massage thing under it, a back massager underneath it, that's it. <laughs> because we have this so it didn't make any sense to use it just because this is way easier because when you're lying down on the bed reaching down there is kind of impossible so if you have it away from the bed it would make more sense but seeing as we don't have it away from the bed we just use this okay boo mama's gonna feed you but yeah it's been great we've loved it she loves it and soon she'll be moving into her big cot in a couple of months uh maybe even less we're starting to transition her into naps over there so she gets used to it but yeah it's we really enjoyed it and have found it to work really well to be honest for what we need we've never traveled with it so i don't know how well it travels but i know it's really easy to pack up because you basically just unhinge this bottom bit <laughs> my bottom sauce <laughs> you basically just take off the tray and then you pull the legs apart and then it goes flat and then you pull the put the and then you flip the legs onto it it's like very simple but thank you guys for watching i hope you found this useful let me know down below how you found yours and if you have this rolling issue we've loved it other than that initial scared rolling part it's been great so we'll see you guys next time for another video bye bye